I seen a thing on Mike Tannenbaum said that uh, Baker Mayfield is um, not great. He's the fifth best quarterback in the AFC. I won't even go into that because it's just ludicrous. But what I'm going to go into is what he said after that, saying that um, that Odell Beckham Jr. and Jadavian Clowney have to be healthy for the Browns to go deep into the playoffs. <laughs> well, Mike Tannenbaum, um, I got news for you. Odell Beckham wasn't even a part of our team last year in the last 13, whatever, 12 games. And we didn't have Jadavian Clowney. And we went deep into the playoffs, if you didn't remember. We, we should have beat the Chiefs, but Kevin Stefanski, um, his play call was atrocious down the stretch. So, um, yeah. Do you know football? Do you do you act? Well, obviously you don't because I'm looking at your track record as a GM, and that's why you're on uh, Get Up or an ESPN right now. You were horrible at selecting players. I mean, uh, Mark Sanchez, Geno Smith. <laughs> that's why you're on ESPN right now. So, yeah. The Browns went deep into the playoffs last year without Odell Beckham, without Jadavian Clowney. So, yeah, injuries play a part of the game, but learn the facts. I, I swear, and I don't fall into this, but I, I, I want to make a video on it. I don't fall into this because uh, I ESPN, I don't even watch it. Because I, what it is, is they're like Colin Coward. Do you think Colin Coward really in his mind believes Baker Mayfield's not good? In his mind, he knows he's good, but he knows how to push buttons. And he knows... That's why, in case anyone didn't notice, this is why they talk about Baker Mayfield so much. Ratings. Because Baker Mayfield is ratings. And when you talk about him, people are going to watch, people are going to listen, and that's why. So, I don't fall into the trap, but Mike Tannenbaum said the stupidest thing. Two stupid things. Baker's not not even a top five quarterback. And when he said that the Browns needed Jadavian Clowney and Odell Beckham to go deep into the playoffs, well, we didn't even have him last year, went deep into the playoffs, so... Mike Tannenbaum, ESPN, and that's why I don't watch ESPN. If I watch any coverage, it's NFL Network. I don't ever watch ESPN. Can't stand it. Marcellus Wiley, Steve Smith, Brandon Marshall. It's like ESPN, they have every Monday morning or every they have a meeting and they say, listen, we gotta we gotta talk about Baker Mayfield. He threw an interception. We gotta talk, we gotta bring that up. So they're paid to talk about Baker Mayfield because they know it's ratings. You know it's NFL Network, they never mentioned Baker Mayfield like this. It's all ESPN. If you go back and think about it, NFL Network never sits there and berates Baker Mayfield like ESPN does. ESPN, it's a junk network. They want ratings. And they know if you talk bad about Baker Mayfield, you're going to get the ratings. That's just how it is. So I hope Browns fans are smart enough to realize this. That's why I watch NFL Network. Baker plays bad, they'll bring it up. When he plays great, they bring it up. ESPN, Baker plays great. You know, he's got such a great team. His offensive line protect him. Just think about that. Whenever Baker plays great, watch ESPN and then watch NFL Network. Two different coverages. NFL Network talks it up. ESPN always makes excuses why he plays great. They always move the goalposts back. Think about that. They're always like, well, he's got a great offensive line. They, they overshadow what he did as like, ah, he should have done that. So that's why I don't watch ESPN. It's a horrible uh, network. NFL Network so much better and superior. But I want you to think about that. ESPN tells their analysts to rip Baker Mayfield. It's the only thing I can come up with. And it's facts. Because when Baker threw five interceptions against the uh, Bengals and brought him back, any other quarterback, they'd have been like, oh, he started out so bad, but then he just 23 out of 24, five TDs. BSPN was like, they didn't, even, they didn't even mention it. They didn't mention it. It's so... Uh, yeah, Mike Tannenbaum. It's it's they just put bums on. The only good guy on ESPN, honestly, is Ryan Clark. He's actually good. He should go to NFL Network where you it's more valid. So Ryan Clark, NFL Network should sign him because uh he doesn't belong in ESPN. ESPN's like a, a troll network. <laughs>